Hello everybody, how you all doing? My name is Rafael and thank you for watching today's video and today I want to talk about The Last of Us 2 and uh, more specific I want to talk about uh, what like was like the real tragedy about this game and what don't people seem to understand when they like uh, put a review on it or, or anything like that right or, or the reasons to hate the game anyways uh, so there are gonna be major spoilers uh, in the following minutes of this video so if you don't want to get spoilers make sure to click off this video so let's get started so I see a lot of people like complaining that this game was very bad or that the story was poorly written and all those things and even though I agree with them at some points that the game was had a lot of issues uh, storytelling uh, character wise uh, and all that things uh, what what a lot of people don't seem to understand is the reason that made this game like not a bad game but I felt like after I stopped after I, I finished the game I felt like a sadness right and and the reason that I felt that sadness which took me by the way one with two days to figure out why I was feeling sad wasn't that Joel got killed wasn't that I had to play with Abby wasn't any of those things what was the reason that I felt like shit was pretty much that Ellie suffers throughout the whole game right and even at the end, when you expect an end, an ending which will like give her closure, so to say, or like uh, her moment or anything like that, that never comes. So pretty much, you. C I remember this little girl from when she was like from the first part, how she was, uh, how she would just tell stupid jokes, how she would be happy, how she would care about all, how, how, how. And now I move on to playing the second part where Ellie, by the way, is in a big fight with Zol when Zol dies. Sees her father figure die right in front of her, right? Try to get her revenge. She kills a, a dozen of people in order to get it. When she actually gets to fight with Abby, Abby kills another of his friends, Jesse, right? And then she's almost she has almost killed her and then she's about to kill Dina and Abby just spurs both of them right and then we we'll, like get into the cutscene and we see that Ellie is living happily supposedly happily with um, Dina now in their home and Tommy appears and at that point we realize that Ellie will not has like a PTSD uh, moment there I don't know like uh, she sees like something like I don't know what was that like uh, a dream or anything something like that that like sees Joel and she cannot like get over it so we realize that she will not be fine until this whole thing is over right and we leave our like girlfriend back we leave our kinda uh, son girl whatever that was uh, I don't know daughter uh, I don't remember if, if what, what the, the what the gender of the baby was but, but whatever we'll leave our girlfriend back we'll leave our baby back we'll leave our home back just to go find abby and kill her and even though we get like injured very badly we still manage to get to abby and we start fighting and even though we're like almost there killing her we see Zol and realize that killing abby will not bring us peace so she lets abby leave which I'm not gonna like uh, say if it was a good or a bad ending, but we lose two fingers, then we go back to our home, try to play the guitar, which the guitar was the only thing left from Joel, right? That was like the only bond that Ellie had with um, with Joel yet uh, after uh, his death. Uh, our girlfriend is out, our baby is out, our home is empty, and we cannot even play the guitar. And the game ends with Ellie living back the last memory of Joel and walking on a field. I think that's the real tragedy of the game and that's what make like made people feel so crappy but I think a lot of people haven't realized it because they give too much emphasis they emphasize too much on playing as Abby, playing as Joel uh, or having Joel die when in reality people are very sad for what happened to that poor little girl. 
that girl that we got to know ever since she was like, I don't know, eight, nine, and now she's a teenager. We just hear, we just see her for like 30 hours of gameplay, torture herself, and that, and then not even getting a proper moment, Don't, not getting her events, not getting a family, not getting her friends back. She just lost everything. And that's what made me feel like crap after playing the game. The fact that uh, while I was playing it, I was seeing this girl being tortured again and again and again and trying to get her events and at the end not even being able to do that. While at the same time we see Abby get her events and then move on with her life. Even though she lost a couple of friends, she was able to move on with her life because of Lev. And I think that's something that Ellie doesn't get. Ellie lost every single thing that was important to her in those 30 hours of gameplay. And because we were so, so strongly bonded with that girl, I think that's why everybody feels like shit after they play the game. Not because they had to play as Sabi. Playing with Sabi was a bad experience, but that experience didn't make me sad. That experience made me mad and I got over it the first two or three or four hours. I was like, okay, I have to play with Abits, let's just get over it. Seeing Joel get killed, of course, made me sad, but after a while I was like, what can you do? He's dead, let's just move on. But seeing Ellie keep on living and being and suffering that much and being taken away everything she loves is what made me really sad. And I think that's the main reason why this game is a tragedy. No, I'm not saying that this is a bad game because of that. I'm just saying that the real tragedy and what made a lot of people feel like shit after completing the game was that. N not the fact that Abby didn't get killed or the fact that Zol died. Seeing Ab, seeing Ellie, which you love so much, losing everything just like breaks your heart, man. And yeah, I, I think that uh, I had to come out and say it. Maybe I feel better after this. Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like and to subscribe for more. Have a nice day. Bye bye.